capitalism is failing. Millions of us can't pay our rent, buy groceries, or get the tests or treatment we need. Medical facilities are underfunded and overwhelmed. Those of us who still have jobs must risk our lives for each paycheck. Prisons and detention centers have become COVID-19 death camps, packed with demographics deemed expendable. Factories, warehouses, and meat processing plants have become sites of active contagion presenting the virus with an opportunity to hitchhike on corporate supply lines. Under these conditions, capitalists are demanding a return to business as usual, while governments introduce even more surveillance and control. It's never been clear that this system prioritizes profits over human life. As politicians conjure trillions of dollars out of thin air, and massive factories are repurposed on a whim? It's obvious that the problem isn't scarcity. It's distribution. Rather than petitioning for better management, we need to take things into our own hands. The greatest power we have is our ability to refuse to keep this system running. All around the world, people are starting to learn how to do this. Workers are walking off the job. Prisoners are organizing hunger strikes, rioting, and launching daring escapes. Millions of tenants are withholding their rent in a collective action that could become the first global rent strike in history. Let's use May Day to take stock of the historic moment we find ourselves in and redouble our efforts in the weeks and months to come. Help those in need. Defend the unemployed, frontline workers, healthcare workers, prisoners, and everyone threatened with eviction. Organize and fight like there's no tomorrow. Nothing is going back to normal.